Well, the United States has accused Russia of dangerous and reckless behaviour after conducting an anti-satellite weapons test which nearly forced astronauts to evacuate the International Space Station. For more on this, joining us live is Malcolm Davis. He's a senior analyst at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, focusing on all things space. Malcolm, appreciate your time as always. Let's just start at the beginning here. What exactly is Russia accused of doing and what was the impact? Uh, overnight, Russia conducted an anti-satellite or ASAT test uh, against a defunct Russian satellite, Cosmos 1408. Uh, they destroyed that satellite with the test, with the anti-satellite weapon, and created a huge cloud of space debris, uh, numbering about 1,500 uh, pieces of debris, uh, which will expand over time into several hundred thousand pieces of debris that will put at risk uh, the International Space Station, the Chinese Tiangong Space Station, and numerous satellites in low Earth orbit. So Russia really has essentially uh, undertaken an action that is a slap in the face against international efforts to try and prevent not only the weaponization of space, but also norms of responsible behavior in space. So when you talk about putting uh, space stations at risk, I mean, were astronauts' lives who are in space at the moment, were they put at real risk due to this? Yes, in the sense that uh, had any of that space debris hit the space station, it could have physically damaged uh, the space station to a severe degree that would have necessitated uh, the evacuation of the space station. Uh, several years ago, there was a Hollywood movie called Gravity which showed exactly this sort of incident where the space station was ripped apart by an anti-satellite test. Well, this is real life now, and the Russians have done something that I think the entire international community is outraged about. Even the Russian space agency wasn't even aware of what the Russian military was going to do. So uh, this is a very serious development uh, by Russia. It is, as I said, a real slap in the face for international unity on preventing uh, an arms race in space. And it does seriously raise questions about Russia's intentions as to developing these sorts of capabilities. And it sounds like the risks aren't over. As you said, these are going to continue to break up over time. So there must be some serious long-term dangers here that we're looking at as well. Exactly. Um, this cloud of space debris is going to continue to grow and the nature of orbital dynamics means that it will eventually uh, expand across the entirety of that region in space and it will be up there for decades. In 2007, the Chinese did something similar. They conducted a, what's known as a direct descent anti-satellite weapon test where they physically destroyed one of their satellites. They created a cloud of about 4,000 pieces of space debris, most of which is still in orbit today. And so the same thing is going to happen here. Uh, you are going to see this long-term threat from this space debris that's going to get worse over time. And, you know, this just reinforces the case where we need to find some way to ban these sorts of uh, kinetic kill anti-satellite weapons. And aside from the physical risk, there's an economic fallout here too, potentially as well, isn't there? I mean, we all rely so heavily on these satellites in space. If we start to lose satellites as a result of space debris collisions, then yes, there could be severe economic effects on Earth. Uh, you know, we rely on satellites for everything from, you know, GPS to, uh, to, to basically navigate by, uh, for uh, banking and stock market transactions, for supply chains. If we start to lose satellites in coming years as a result of space debris, then our economic system takes a hit. And so there is a severe knock-on effect. It's not just uh, limited to what's happening up in orbit. Uh, this directly affects the everyday uh, lives of people on Earth. Malcolm, just finally, do we read much into the timing of this? I mean, we have been reporting that this incident comes as we see these increased tensions between the US and Russia. There are the issues with the Ukraine, with the border, with Belarus. Uh, I mean, is the timing coincidental? Look, I think that the Russian military which conducted this test probably would have been planning this for some time. But, you know, perception is everything here. Uh, so whilst it may not be deliberately linked to what's happening along the Ukraine border or what's happening between Belarus and Poland, I think that the perception will be that, once again, this is another indication that Russia is essentially throwing its weight around and being aggressive and provocative. And so that will only harden attitudes. So whilst I don't think there's a direct link, between this ASAT test and what's happening along the Ukraine border, I think the perception will be that Russia is behaving belligerently and aggressively 
And this is just another indication that we have to worry about Russia as well as China. Mm, concerning stuff. Malcolm Davis, appreciate you joining us with your expertise. Thank you.